Number 15, a wartime error penny. This is 1942 Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark. Graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. Normally it looks like an ordinary penny, but under close inspection, one can see the mint mark S below the date is repunched. Just few bag marks prevent this gem from even higher red grade. It was sold for $1041.70 with buyer's fee at auction. Number 14, here is 1964 D. Kennedy of dollar with triple die of worth, so graded in mean state 66 by PCGS. Highly elusive specimen with tripled elements, most distinctly noticed on TRU of trust and digit 4 of the date. This lustrous error half ended up selling for $1155 with buyer's fee at auction. Number 13, this is 1963 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition. A common date in most cases, the 1963 Jefferson Nickel is rare in certified super gem condition with full steps sharpness. This scarce coin displays satin in nickel silver luster and bold design elements. Only the most microscopic grazes are discernible with loop. It was sold for $3,600. Number 12, here is 1946 S. Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. Attractively toned 25 cents with incredible rainbow iridescence extending along the lower borders. MS67 plus is a high grade for a vintage coin like the 1966 S. Washington Quarter. Toning, while appreciated by some collectors, is a matter of personal preference. Some toning can enhance the appeal of a coin while excessive or unattractive toning might decrease its desirability, which is not the case here. This gem was sold for $1440 on August 1st, 2023. Number 11, 1976 S. Jefferson Nickel in PR70 deep cameo condition. The importance of this offering to the advanced registry set collector is most clearly evident when one studies the certified population figures for the 1976S proof nickel. This white on black representative is devoid of toning and free of flows. The strike is full and the contrast is exceptional. It was sold for $4,230. Number 10, 1925 Standing Liberty Quarter in MS67 condition with full head. The frosty surfaces of this smooth and appealing superb gem supports vast of warm sandy gold patina, razor sharp striking detail and the virtually pristine appearance. It was sold for $4,800 in June 2023. Number 9, here is 1943S Washington Quarter with double diverse, graded in MS66 condition by PCGS and approved by CAC. Intense frosty to semi-reflective luster greets the viewer from both sides of this bright and brilliant example. Striking detail is razor sharp throughout, the surface is impressively smooth in preservation. One of the most dramatic double die varieties in the Washington Quarter series and well known to specialists. The 1943S FS101 presents a considerable challenge in grades above MS64. It was sold for $6,000. Number 8, this is 2000 P. Sakajavia Chirius dollar in MS68 condition. The surfaces are virtually pristine, satiny, and incredibly lustrous with bold strikes throughout. The eagle's tail feathers are individually sharp and fully showcased. The reverse design detail as intended by Mint Engraver. The Lincoln scent displays highly reflective surfaces and sharp strike to all elements. Also included in this lot is the original holder certificate of authenticity. As jointly issued by Cherries and the United States Mail, it ended up selling for $6,600. Number 7, here is 1937 D. Lincoln Sentinel 68 red condition. This depression era issue receives nearly uniform praise for its high production values and sharp strikes and impressive luster, which are the norm rather than the exception. Despite these rise in overall quality, coins that transcend MS67 red designation remain supreme rarities. Fire orange and peach surfaces 
offer a powerful radiant luster and crisply detailed portrait is essentially flawless. It was sold for $8,625. Number 6. This is 1917 Lincoln sent double die verse, graded in in mean state 64 red and brown. A rather boldly die doubled guidebook variety showing a strong spread on the date in God we trust and elements of the portrait. This choice example shows mostly copper red luster with soft burgundy overtones that denote the red and brown designation. A few scattered specks are not out of line for the grade and the strike is bold. It was sold for $9,106.25. Number 5. This is 1949 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 Plus Red Condition. According to NGC, this is yet another issue that is rare in MS67 Red, despite its high mintage. As with so many cents of the late 1940s through the early 50s, the problem is attributable mostly to spotting and staining. This issue and the next several Philadelphia mint scents seem to suffer from a distinctive staining pattern sometimes called cobwebbing, and the culprit is likely the planchet cleaning process used prior to striking. On the plus side, well strike examples are fairly plentiful. Number 4 here is 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938 graded as PR68 by PCJS, PR standing for proof. The majority of the proof 1939 Jefferson Nichols are found with the wavy steps reverse of 1938, while the opposite is true for circulation strikes. Most of them, perhaps 90%, are reverse of 1940. George's gold peach and pale ice blue alternates throughout both sides of this lustrous example. It was sold for eleven thousand hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. This is 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel and MS68 condition with full steps. These delectable superb gem exhibits virtually flawless surfaces. The strike is razor sharp throughout and there is not even single detracting abrasion. Also beautifully toned, both sides are layered in soft pastel iridescence of sandy gold, pale pink and ice blue. Simply gorgeous, uh, surfaces are simply incredible in their preservation and are graced by delicate pastel hues. This is one of only handful of those popular wartime nickels to get this high grade from PCGS. Number 2, 1913 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 Red Condition. This piece is fully struck over both sides, with no weakness in the usually seen areas. The surfaces are medium orange gold, mellowing only slightly to a seen arc of violet near the left obverse rim. Few tiny microflex appear only with the aid of the loop. What is scarce in MS67 grade? It was sold for $32,400. Number 1. 1943 penny struck on a bronze planchet, popular wartime error coin, graded in MS62 brown by PCGS. This lovely scent has vibrant blue toning over lustrous olive brown surfaces with slight weakness on Lincoln's beard, but with sharp wheat ears and exceptional surfaces for the grade. This piece has eye appeals that equals its rarity. In 1943, due to the shortage of copper during World War II, the US Mint switched from using copper for penny production to using zinc coated steel. However, a small number of bronze planchets meant for 1942 pennies were probably left in the tot beans and struck with 1943 dies. These bronze error pennies are extremely rare because they were not intended to be produced in 1943. It is estimated that only a few dozen of these coins were minted. They are often referred to as 1943 copper pennies or 1943 bronze pennies. This numismatic pinnacle was sold for $372,000. Thanks for watching this video. Hit that like and subscribe button to show us some support. Have a nice day.